everybody, it's Mrs Lee here. I just thought I'd send you a very short message just to welcome you back to school. I'm looking forward to seeing you in two sleeps. So that must mean it is Saturday. So all the photographs that I'm going to show you in a moment is what the school looks like right now. It might change by Monday, fingers crossed. And I'm saying that because as you see the videos, you'll see that the outside works near the new preschool and the reception classrooms is not finished. It's a no-go zone, we can't go there. Um, so we've had to make a few changes to the entrance to our school and I'll explain that in the next few moments as we go through the photographs and hopefully everybody will be able to enter site safely and exit. We have a one-way system. We had this in place last year, um, but everybody's obviously moved up, so we just need to explain to the new reception uh, parents who don't know anything about our school, and then obviously to the new year ones and year twos because of you um, entered and exited the school in different ways last year. Hopefully it will all make sense. And hopefully on Monday, you will be able to drop your child off safely and um, we will look after them. And as you can see from the photographs, there's some amazing displays and activities all ready for the children um, to start their first term of the autumn term. Okay, now children, you know what I love to do. Yeah, I love to read a story. Okay, so do you remember this book? That's right, it's called the colour monster um, and we use this book if you are in year one and year two when we came back from the lockdown um, and we used it because it talked about how we were feeling and I love this book and we had displays across our school didn't we now found another book this one it's called the colour monster goes to school now on the back, the synopsis. What does it say? It says, the colour monster is feeling nervous. <gasps> what does that mean, nervous? Can you tell your grown up? That's right, it might mean that you've got butterflies in your tummy. It might mean that you are a little bit afraid. Maybe you're excited. It's a lot of emotions. But it usually means something new or something maybe we don't really think is going to go that well is coming. All right. And it's OK to feel nervous. Absolutely. I'm feeling nervous doing this and I'll feel nervous on Monday as well. All right. So grown ups get nervous. Anyway, you might be feeling nervous because you are coming back to school or you are starting school for the very first time or you might be coming to our preschool which is opening very soon. Right, the synopsis says the colour monster is feeling nervous. Today is his very first day of school. I'm going to turn on this side so we can see you better. But he doesn't have a clue what school is. Is it a spooky castle? <gasps> is it a scary forest? <gasps> Will he ever escape? <gasps> With his friend Nuna by his side, the colour monster has all kinds of exciting adventures ahead. Shall we find out what they are? Okay. Oh, some lovely, lovely drawings in here. Hello, colour monster. Guess what? Today is your first day of school. School. What is that? Is it a spooky castle filled with monsters and beasts? Is it the sky with rainbows and clouds? Or is it in a scary jungle guarded by evil gods? Here's your rucksack, colour monster. What do you think you'll need? Um, helmet, boots for quicksand. Alien spotting goggles, bat repellent, torch, laser, mm, just in case. What are you going to do with all this stuff? You just need your coat and your notebook. No, we don't. We just need our coat and a water bottle and a book bag. Here we are. This is our school. I promise we're going to have a great day. There's all the grown-ups saying goodbye. Look, some of them look a bit sad and some of them look okay. <gasps> Hello, 
Mrs Edwards, this is my friend the colour monster and it's his first day of school. I see Luna pulling him along. <laughs> first, we need to go into our classroom. <gasps> uh, where are you hiding? Wow, their classroom looks a bit like our classroom, nice and bright and colourful. Why don't you come out and meet your classmates? Oh, don't be scared, their names are Nuna, Lucas, Torty, Martin, Max, Valentine, Leo, Lucy, Chloe and Yun. Oh, they all look happy. How do I know they look happy? That's right, because they are... Smile it. It's a good thing to do. Smile. Oh, look what colour colour monster is going now. It's turned yellow. Our first lesson this morning is music. That's my favourite class. You're doing great. Mm, but you're just a little bit out of tune. Oh, it's a bit noisy. Maybe you'll do some music in school. Then Miss Edwards read us a story. You seem to really like stories, Colour Monster. Mm -mm. We look after our books here in school, don't we? If we find them on the floor, we... That's right, we pick them up. Oh, Colour Monster looks like a yellowy, bluey, green now, doesn't he? Hey, later we go to the playground. Hey, Colour Monster, can we have a turn on the swing? Now we haven't got a swing in our school, but we do have a slide and we are going to be using it. Yay! But we must take turns, mustn't we? So if you walk up the steps to the slide, you wait your turn. Can you do that for me? Of course you can. Before lunch, we go to the toilet and we wash our hands. Splish, splosh, splish, splosh. What are you doing, Colour Monster? Don't do that! <gasps> We wouldn't do that in our school, would we? Mm -mm -mm. We go to the toilet and we wash our hands, don't we? All right, we know that washing your hands is a good way of helping to stop that virus, isn't it? And we're going to carry on doing that. We certainly don't go and get the toilet roll and do that, do we? I'm really hungry now. At last it's time for lunch. Look, Colour Monster, today we're having bread and soup. Whoa! No, it's hot! Oh, you shouldn't really play with your food. We'll be going back inside the hall to have our lunches, eating those lovely, lovely, nice dinners. Make sure you tell your grown-up to get onto School Grid and book your meals. All right? If you don't book your meal and you want a hot dinner and don't like jacket potato then you're going to be a bit sad because the jacket potato is what we give to the children if they haven't booked a meal so make sure you get on to HCL quickity quick in the afternoon we go to the gym to do some exercise jumping on the color monster is so much fun boing 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 now we also use our hall as our gym, don't we? So if we've had our lunch in the hall, we clean the whole floor up and then we can go inside and do some um, PE. Exciting. Now, we end the day by doing some painting. <sighs> we've got the best model. The colour monster can change colour. Oh, look. Standing up there is making a good model. Don't blink, he might turn pink. <laughs> Who likes painting? I thought so. You might do some painting in the artist studio. When school is over, it's time to say goodbye. What a fun day. Look what colour the colour monster is. Looks like a happy colour. Bye, Miss Edwards. See you tomorrow. I knew you'd have a good day. School isn't so bad after all, is it? But now I need to nap. I'm exhausted. Lots of pictures of the colour monster having a good day at school. I'm sure you're going to have a good day at school soon. All right. And you might feel like the colour monster at the beginning, but hopefully you'll feel like the colour monster at the end. And you'll be tickled pink to have come to school. 
Right, I'm going to finish there. I will see you soon. If you have any questions, um, ask your grown up and if they can't answer them, hopefully they will email me and I will try to answer those questions. Look forward to seeing you. Bye. Unfortunately, the preschool isn't quite ready just yet, inside and outside. We're working very hard to get this situation sorted. However, around the rest of the school, we've been working very hard to put up displays to reflect our new theme for the autumn term, which is no place like home. We will be doing our park life walk um, in the very near future, taking the children out to a local park. Um, we're looking for any volunteers, so if you have any free time, please let us know. Um, as you can see, the classrooms are set up with lots and lots of different activities, and we're very excited that the children will be accessing them very soon. Please don't use Mayfield Crescent as somewhere to park your car or drop your children off. Um, please enter the school through the right hand gate next to the park, walk around on the pavement, not across the roundabout, please teach your children good habits. If you're in year two, enter through the gate on the right hand side, walk around the back of the junior school and you can play on the back playground. When you see Mrs Smith or Mrs Dutoy or Miss Adams come out, please line up. You'll be entering and exiting through those white and brown doors at the side of the school. And then can parents and carers leave the school via the one-way system using the blue gates and walking around the school and exiting by the bungalow. If you are in reception or year one, please enter onto the front playground to the big gate where the green frog is. Wait on the playground and your class teacher will come out to collect you. Unfortunately, we are not able to use the reception gardens because of the preschool works that are still in place. So parents of children in class one and class two, it's going to be very difficult to get you into school on their very, your child's very first day. Please bear with us um, and hopefully your child will enter through the door that the year ones will be using, which is right next door to this white pod where the arrow is. Um, we look forward to speaking to you and talking to you more about this on the playground on Monday. Thank you.